Good afternoon, everybody. It's Marsha. Today's Monday. So, what does that mean? You guessed it. It is garden time. So let's come on out here and see how everything's going. Find out what's done and what needs redone and what what there is. <laughs> Since I need to harvest anything. The other day I had an accident. We, as you can see, I'll walk back over here. I, uh, we got our meat and I was smoking some T-bone steaks in our smoker right here. And as I was getting, getting the brush to clean the grill off to lay the meat on, uh, I was walking over here to the area where we had our smoker at before. I had my husband move the smoker because I didn't want to walk. Hi, girl. Hi, boys. There's the uh, turkeys. Uh, yeah, where are they at? There they are. But I, <laughs> I didn't want to um, walk through all this here where the poison ivy's at around my onion bed. But anyway, let's walk over here. Anyhow, there's poison ivy all through here. I have to watch where I step. Anyway, here's my onion bed. I see this black netting here on the ground. I tripped on that and landed right into my onion bed. Knock some onions loose, like for instance, this and here's loose. So I have to go through here, redo all my onions, uh, the ones that needs to be replanted, pull them out, level out the ground, measure the onions out, put them in the ground again, and replant them. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing in the real near future. Hey boys, say hi to YouTube. Yeah, we're going to have to get us some turkeys. You guys are good, aren't you? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Cat got your tongue? I thought so. Well, I'm doing my garden time. You can do your thing. Okay. Ta-ta for now. Back to us. Birds, birds. Birds I live on Bird City. <laughs> In fact, there is a Bird City, Kansas. Birds everywhere. My husband says we have too many chickens. And here's my daughter's chickens. They're looking pretty good. Hey, hey, girls and boys. <laughs> anyway, that's hers. So, let's go back out here to the garden and see how it's doing. <laughs> Here's my birds. One sitting on top of the waterer. <laughs> I had 28, I'm down to 4. Hope they make it. I'm not going to have any more after this. Let's walk through this jungle. Here's the cantaloupes. Starting to get a little bit better looking. Looks like they're starting to die. So I don't know. It, don't, it still looks green, so it's not ready to pick. So I just let it keep going. I picked some acorn squash off of here. A little frag or grasshoppers. Looks like grasshoppers are coming out from the plants. Zucchini growing here. As you can see, I've been working on here getting the weeds out. You can see the piles of weeds everywhere. That butternut squash. Some mosquitoes are biting me. It's not ready yet. 
looks like I got another one over there on the other side. That's two. Even if I only get two, that's better than nothing. This is more butternut squash I found out. I saw one in here someplace. Where was it? Uh, there's a spaghetti squash there. I already picked one. But this here is coming off of that plant there. It's growing all the way over here. Here's a zucchini right there. That baby one's not ready. I picked tomatoes off the tomato plants. So here's that acorn, I mean a butternut squash in here. I know I saw one. Where was it? I should have put my gloves on. These pricklies, I don't really like the pricklies on these plants. Maybe I'm a raccoon myself. Anyway, inside there is butternut squash because I saw it. Some more squashes here. Looks like acorns. I mean butternut squash. There. I mean not butternut. Zucchini. I don't know how much for, more it's going to go. The sugar baby watermelon is right there on the other side of this big vine. There's a patty melt over here. Patty melt. I meant a patty pan squash right here. Not quite ready to pick. But when this is done, I'm going to be ripping it all out and feeding them to the chickens because they will love that. As long as I do one plant a day, they'll probably be eating it pretty good. Like the yellow squash should be first. There's some more yellow squash down in here. That's one thing we get a lot of this year is yellow squash. You even want the baby watermelon? Don't know when it's supposed to be ripe, but it's still green, so. Must not be ready. Okay, you saw the tomatoes and you saw the squashes. Let's go through here for the peppers. I love these weeds. The peppers. I see a yellow cucumber in there. Should have been picked. My okras. Need to get in here and get the weeds out of the okra working on everything it just it's a process like I said it's a learning process and next year I'll be putting that weed barrier down and uh, just get a little bit at a time and then when it comes time for planting the garden I'll have get away from me <laughs> I just saw locusts I'm not a bug fan and uh, mosquitoes are hanging on me too but I have my tiller sitting here. I need to get out of here. And the locust was sitting on it and it started flying towards me. <laughs> uh, and here I am walking through all this weeds and stuff. And thinking I'm going to be okay. Of course I'm going to be okay. <laughs> Just keep walking and I'll be okay. I'll let them know you're not scared even though you are. Here's my sweet potatoes. Looks like the, they're growing a little bit more. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of it. I got some more on there too. Just trying to keep it away from the main area of each plant. So to continue growing. I don't know. To look on YouTube and find out when I first planted them. So I know when they're ready to be harvested. And I'm wearing shorts walking through all this tall grass. So, And here's my Chinese red noodle beans. And if there's anything in here that's like here's these aren't ready yet. They need to be 18 inches long. This is only like eight. It's got about 10 more inches to go. But I have two there. If nothing gets them, here's, and that's just the vine. So, but I have some over there that's already dead. I need to get brave and walk through the weeds over there and pick them up and get them picked out so I can get the seeds out and save them back for next year. Here's the tomatoes. I need to get the weeds finished getting the weeds out of there and peppers and tomatillis down on the end. Now I guess we'll go check on the pumpkin patch and 
and the rest of the chickens since I'm walking by them anyhow. And go from there. So many bugs. It just scares me. And my husband wants me to mow the lawn. I don't even know how to run a zero turn. He says it's easy. I got on once and I thought I was going to run into something because I can't go straight. I'm going the same way I came last time I walked through the other spider webs. Like I said, I'm not a bug. Uh, I don't like bugs. So, I'd rather not mess with the bugs if I can help it. So, we'll go through this way. That means I can't see the birds. Unless I go back through there. As you can tell, they're pretty wild. They're pretty loud. I don't know why I'm breathing so hard. We're going to head over. <laughs> now the birds, the neighbor's turkeys are near the pumpkins. So we get to walk about around them again. Hi boys. Hey. You gonna sing me a song? I'm coming over to check the pumpkins. Yeah? That okay with you? Okay. You do that and I'll do this. See any pumpkins in here? Let's see. I'm looking for pumpkins. <sighs> we'll be doing good if we get any. Sure, a lot of flowers. As tall as the weeds are around here, there are probably snakes. <laughs> I'm looking. Nope. We I thought for sure we saw some out here when the chickens were in this little cage. But I don't know. Anyway, that's what's left of the pumpkin patch. We'll see if we get anything. Did you know, pumpkin leaves are edible. There's a lot of vitamins in them. So you can pick them like, uh, pick the leaves off and make your sandwiches and roll up the meat or your meat spread into or on the leaves and roll them up. Ouch! I hurt myself. Anyway, that's my garden time for today. And maybe we'll see how things goes. And sometime during the week, maybe I'll have. Hi, Squeaky! I'll have um, some. What am, well, I'm trying to think what I was going to say. Some harvest that I can make something with. The other day I made three quarts of spaghetti sauce. But I'm going to be grating up some spaghetti and... Uh, not spaghetti. Some, grating up some squash. Putting them in bags and freezing it so I can make uh, zucchini bread. And stuff like that. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's a good time to subscribe. Share this with your friends. 
maybe someone will be getting something out of it. My cat is across the street, laying in the shade. Hi, Paul. You come over and say hi to Mama? Anyway, my next chore is try to get this front yard mode. With my knees as bad and it's going uphill, I'm going to have a hard time, but I am going to try. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.